So hello and welcome to the Data Explorer's Market Update, where we are going to look at the smartphone sector. But before you say uh, we've done too much on that, uh, there's a new angle here, which is that um, First Trust have come up with an ETF based upon NASDAQ's smartphone index, which is called the QFON. Uh, this, this, the ticker for this ETF is F-O-N-E. And it's interesting because um, there's already a bit of securities lending and borrowing activity, not much, in this FONE uh, ETF because clearly uh, it's a good hedge if you're long or short uh, the smartphone companies. This of course made us revisit the investor sentiment in smartphones uh, and we see essentially quite a lot of negative sentiment, hence our headline not all plain sailing for smartphone manufacturers. Even those people that make parts for Apple or have exclusive licenses to sell Apple's iPhone like China Unicom uh, are perhaps facing some headwinds. Um, China Unicom yeah, has, as the name suggests, the iPhone license in China, and short interest has sort of doubled recently, not massively high, but a quarter of supply is short there, so it's worth watching them. Uh, Skywork Solution is a US manufacturer that makes the component parts for some smartphones. Again, quite a big short position opening up in them. Nokia is clearly the one where, uh, despite their partnership with Microsoft, uh, announced recently. There's a lot of negative sentiment and they had a bit of a profits warning. Uh, the CEO had some leaked comments about being on a burning oil platform. Uh, since the bad results, uh, short sellers, guess what, have been shorting more, especially the ADR. The ADR was shorted before, more shorting of the ADR. The finished listing wasn't so shorted, but masses of shorting now since then as everybody tends to line up one way and predict the demise of Nokia. So uh, maybe that's overdone, I don't know. Uh, Arm Holdings, the UK chip manufacturer, uh, is actually, despite being trading on some 87 times earnings, I think investors are bored of trying to be short arm and they're not really taking a view. So short interest is sort of coming down in arm. So that's actually the positive one here. So that's a little wrap. Uh, the ticker is FONE for this, this new smartphones ETF, which I thought was quite interesting. If you'd like to read the report, it is at dataexplorers.com forward slash news.